the other day when I was on a walk, I saw a leaf that was attached to a spider web and it was dangling and spinning in a circle just boy that leaf was going fast and I thought wow if I were that leaf I would think I was flying through a tornado going across the country there's so much activity happening but really it wasn't going anywhere it was just staying in the same spot spinning around in circles it made me think that that's what we do a lot of times as humans we just spin 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 in a circle thinking we're doing all of this activity and we're getting places and then we realize we're in the same spot there's a difference between circular motion and forward motion. I need to be sure that I'm not spinning in circles, but that I'm actually moving in the right direction. So what do I have to do? I have to cut that spider web. I have to get myself out of that attachment. That leaf was literally attached to the spider web. So what is it that I'm attached to when I'm just spinning in circles and not heading toward the goal that I want to achieve? I think a lot of times I'm attached to how I want the outcome to, to be. How specifically, like, it's got to be this exact thing or it's not a success. And so then I'm just spinning in circles. One way to get that forward motion is being open to something turning out a little bit differently than you had expected. Because if the leaf's goal was to, you know, move on, it's got to let go of that spider web. Uh, another one of those spider webs that I often grab onto is uh, the spider web of lack, of not enough. Like I'm clinging to this thing, this spider web of scarcity, like my life depended on it. It's safer to hang on to the spider web that we know instead of flying off into something that we don't know because that's scary. The unknown is frightening. Sometimes we choose to stay attached to that spider web that is not serving us, it's no longer serving us. Maybe it did at one point serve us to hang on to the spider web, but if we want to fly off away from it, we have to make the conscious choice to cut it. We have to decide that what we want is less frightening than the prospect of hanging onto the spider web and spinning around in that circle again. We've sometimes built our identities around the idea of living in lack and scarcity. I know that that's been one of my stories is that I've identified with being the one who just, you know, didn't have enough, who couldn't do, couldn't have, and that's just been uh, who I got used to being for so long. So the thought of cutting that spider web gets scary because then you feel like you're losing a part of yourself. But what you need to realize is that you are the leaf, you're not the spider web. It's not really your identity, it's been the false identity that you've been attached to, that you've been clinging to. So when you see the separation between yourself and that limitation, it's easier to separate. Knowing that you're not the limitation and that you're not only the leaf, but you're the wind that carries it, it becomes less frightening to separate yourself from that. Examine where is the spider web in your life? What are you clinging to? What are you attached to? We know what our own spider webs are. We know the cord that we've attached ourselves to. And it's been just we've been afraid to disconnect from it. So we've been pretending like we don't know what it is. But deep down, I think we know what it is. Face those shadows. Write them down. You know what they are. Put it on paper. Say, speak, to, speak with someone you trust, a trusted friend. Just get that stuff out into the light. You can have the freedom through the knowledge. And once you disconnect from that limiting belief, once you disconnect from the, the spider web that you're clinging so desperately to, you realize that it's not so scary after all. Stepping into your true essence will actually be empowering. You'll feel so much stronger and freer once you take the time to shine the light on those shadows. Now get out there and enjoy your flight.